Welcome back, my glamorators. Well, let's talk, cause honey, if you a love, if you are Atlanta housewife fan, you are ready to receive this tea, honey. You ready to know the news on the street, honey? You ready to know what's popping over there in them Atlanta housewife streets? And I got a little tea for y'all, so hold up. Wait one motherfucking minute. <laughs> give me a minute and I'll be right back to give y'all that tea. I try to keep everybody at a, you know, at a certain level of respect. Level of respect. I try to keep everybody at a, you know, at a certain level of rubber, 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 rubber respect. But you do it all the time. Really? Yes, you do. Okay, so word on the street is that Atlanta Housewives show, the Housewives that is, uh, of Atlanta, um, it's not doing too good in the viewing arena, okay? So their viewing power has went down. Um, I, I don't know. I got to do a little more research to find out why. Mm, but I know it was some issues going on with the cast members um, and Nene. So, I'm going to get that tea for you, too, because I did read some of that. But back to the nature at hand, what is going on is that they need some viewing power, baby. So, they done reached all the way back in the bag, back in the bag to the first motherfucking season, honey. And they done brought no none other, okay, than who back to the show? Lisa Wu, Lisa Wu, and if you're a real Atlanta House fans, because it's a lot of fake, it's a lot of fake ones out there that just started watching it. Think they know every motherfucking thing that goes on on the Housewives, baby. No, I'm a real motherfucking watcher since season one, baby. And Lisa Wu was on season one, honey, and she brought the shits. Okay. So now Atlanta Housewives done went and dug deep back in their motherfucking bag and brought her back on the show. Um, they didn't give much of what she's bringing to the show. Um, I'll let y'all read up on it, check it out, and see what y'all think. So I brought an old clip up because it's not much that they have for her right now. Any clippings of what she'll be bringing to the show when she come back. So I brought an old clip from when she first came to the show. Atlanta is a place where business women like me can thrive. Call me if you need me. It's a good thing because work is my life. My typical day is hectic every day, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I, I juggle several things because I'm super, super hyper. I have different talents, so I like to, nice to showcase it. And this is where I think that your house should go for. I am a real estate broker and an owner of a company, Hartwell & Associates Realtors. I have a clothing line, Heart to Heart Baby. I paint. I design jewelry. I'm bouncing off the walls. I come from a mixed background. My dad is Chinese and my mom is black. A lot of African-American women and a lot of African-American men say, are you black, are you Chinese? If I say that I'm black, I'm not acknowledging my father. I said, so it's not like I'm, I don't want to be black. It's not that I don't want to be Chinese. I am black and Chinese. Patty cake, patty cake, you gonna do it? I just had a baby nine months ago. Having a nine, ten month old is definitely, it revives you and it, you know, just gives you energy. Like, okay, wakes you up, like, wake up a little bit, you know? There you are! Come on! It's my next break! You gotta get on! My husband is Ed Hartwell. He's a linebacker for the NFL. Ed and I built a gym in our home because we're workout fanatics. Ed has been in the league for seven years and had a huge contract with the Falcons. He got injured. But he is rehabbing, and so he's ready to get back on the field. One more, one more. Come you on. are still hitting, you crazy nuts. Yeah. Ed returning back to the game is very important to him. Of course, I'm a little afraid, because it's, it's a brutal game. That's my best friend, so I don't want anything to happen to him. But you also got to support his dream. But if anybody remembers her from the show, she had beef with Kim Zosiak, for one, and also Sheree Whitfield. And 
it was fucking hilarious. So those are the two pe people on the show that I knew that she was beefing with. And now that they're not going to be on the show, I don't know what she's really going to bring. Who she's going to beef with or who she's going to have an issue with. Or what is she going to stay trying to be the nice girl or something to that effect. We'll have to watch and see. So, yeah, as y'all can see, she ain't, I don't know too much of what she bringing to the show. I don't know, Lisa was, you know, a bitch back in the day. So, I'm sure she might bring some good drama to the show if she's anything like she used to be back in the day. They are bringing Kenya back, but that bitch had to take a big-ass pay cut to be back because she bed her way back into the season, okay? So, Kenya will be back as a um full-time peach with a full-time peach but she will she took um a million dollar pay cut okay to be back on the show but she will be back on the show to bring her drama i guess bravo testing her out see if she worth keeping okay so i'll keep y'all posted on what's going on with the kenya thing later on and those salaries i'm gonna make a new story for that so be looking at Now, as for Shamori, I think she's not really, she was fired, but they still going to have her on um, periodically throughout the show, show. so she's still going to be periodically throughout the show. Um, Phaedra, unfortunately, didn't get back on the show. I think they was trying to do something with Apollo when he got out. They were trying to make a storyline for her because a lot of these hoes storylines are boring. And I'm not talking about um, just Phaedra. Phaedra, um, I guess, really didn't have a storyline. That's my boo. I hate that she ain't coming back, but I guess she ain't had nothing really to bring to the show. And then if, you know, Candy last, nasty ass, didn't want to film with her. So, of course, that's another reason why Bravo probably didn't want to risk losing Candy with a no storyline ass motherfucking boring storyline she got they want to keep that hanging in there now phaedra you know listen i'm not against anybody returning to this show i've been on this show for a long time i started this show okay so i want the show to continue on for the next 10 15 20 years okay so if they want to bring back anybody they want to bring back bring them back i won't be like that other girl if you bring them back i'll quit i would never be that way bring them back bring them all back what for i mean i need this show to continue on I'm going to still be here, so bring it back. I mean, I'm going to, why, why would I leave? Bring any enemy that you want to bring back. I'm fine. Sure. The only. Yeah, and so they're going to keep pushing. Yeah, I said Candy has a boring ass storyline, and she does. Her storyline to me uh, it really doesn't fit the, 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 the franchise no more like it used to. Um, she just don't do nothing for me. Her and Todd just don't do nothing for me. I don't know why the fuck they still on the show. Portia was her storyline last year. She keep bringing her old drama with Portia to try to keep a motherfucking storyline. And why I say that shit with her and Phaedra to me was bullshit because, bitch, and you lost nothing because of that. No one believed the motherfucking shit. So I don't even know why it got dragged like it did. You just used that for sympathy to keep your shit rolling or whatever candy. That's how I felt about that shit. And I don't care who don't like it. I try to keep everybody at a, you know, at a certain level of respect. Level of respect. I try to keep everybody at a, you know, at a certain level of respect. But you do it all the time. Really? Yes, you do. That pissed me off. I said 
what I said. Okay, well, what okay. you said was some bullshit. That's you don't what like it, it. You don't. Like yeah, because you use can you use most of that shit to bank off of that shit with you and face so you made more money than you ever lost off that motherfucking shit you should want phaedra to come back bitch because you made more money off that fucking lie supposedly that phaedra said to portia that you're not friends with bitch because you want to fuck portia everybody know you do so at the end of the day you're not friends back with portia who was the one that said the shit on national tv I don't give a fuck who told her. She the one who made sure she say that shit on Nash TV. So to me, you should have been mad, just as mad at her as you was with Phaedro. So that's why I feel the way I feel about Candy. Anybody don't like it? I'm sorry. That's my feelings on the matter. Because I've been watching this show for a long time and I know a lot of shit behind the scenes that I'm going to make a story about. And I'll help y'all understand my reasoning for why I say what I say. Okay, well, off that, um, that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. Like I said, let's see how this worked with Lisa Wu coming back. Because Bravo is, Atlanta Housewives show is fucking struggling for views, y'all. So, Nene, you know, she's okay with filming with anybody because she wants this motherfucking show to last. Nene started this motherfucking show. So, she feels like, hey, I, I don't give a fuck about filming with no motherfucking body. But yet, Candy had a problem with filming with Phaedra. So, that stopped some drama because, you know, her and Kenya would have been back and motherfucking forth, which I would have lived for, bitch. But at the end of the day, that didn't happen. So let's see how Lisa and what drama Lisa can bring to the show. If y'all have any comments about what I just talked about, please leave them below. And I'll get back with you on the comments, in the comments. And I just want to say thank you all, my glamorators, for coming back. My newbies, thank you too for joining. Hope you like the commentary. Hope you'll come back. If you don't, I understand. And you know, everybody ain't going to like what I do. Ain't nobody going to like what I say, you know. And I understand. But if you do, don't forget to like, share, comment down below on YouTube, and subscribe.